You've got classical music playing? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Andrew. So how many kilometers are you gonna bike today? 100? 110. Do you have a time goal for it? Yeah, under three and a half hours. What is all this stuff that you got going on here? It's my breakfast. It's a kefir yogurt, protein, raw oats. What's kefir again? It's a fermented milk. Fermented milk, folks. This is my pre-workout. It has moringa, olefera in it, uh, some B vitamins, uh, stuff to get you going. That's what's in here. That's yeah. what's in there, okay. Yeah. And this is what I'm gonna have for myself this morning. I've had this before. Let me just be clear that I myself am not riding. I'm also not drinking the fermented milk. I'm just gonna stick to my sandwich that my mom packed for me. <laughs> <laughs> This is the kind of like base camp for where the bike races are going to begin. This is where they're gonna end as well. So I'm gonna be following Andrew around on his bike. I'm gonna be in the car. He's with his brother who I'm gonna introduce to you guys and I'm gonna show you their bikes right now because they're pretty sick and they're light as a feather. Way lighter and easier to ride than uh, my mountain bike that I've been on before which you've seen on my past vlogs but all in all, I think this is gonna be pretty awesome. I've never done anything like this. I'm in a place that I've never been before. This brewery I visited yesterday is amazing and I just feel like so positive about today. Let's hope that it all works out to how I have it planned out in my head, which is kind of not anything because I've never done anything like this before. So wish me luck. Here at Persephone Brewing, we're unloading the bikes. We've got Andrew's brother with us. You wanna say what's up to the crowd? Hey, what's up? This doesn't look like my mountain bike here, Andrew. It's uh, a little bit older, 2008. It's aluminum frame with carbon fork and seat post. And uh, I put some custom wheels on it, weigh about 1,400 grams. Nice and light and fast, great for climbing. This is my uh, brother Matthew. What's up, Matthew? How much. And you've got a sweet little ride here as well. Yeah, so as you can see, it's mostly white. It's full carbon fiber, lauded off of one of my brother's friends, got a really good deal on it. It's pretty much got everything that I need. You ever ridden 100 kilometers on this thing before? 64 clicks is my max so far. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, my friend. All right, we are setting up the tent. What these guys are doing is setting up a little booth for after the race. They sell a product which is like an athletic supplementation product. It has natural forms of caffeine in it. There's also another product that's like made specifically for just recovery. They have a morning blend. They have all these different things. I took one of those morning blends this morning instead of having coffee. Holy smokes, I am bouncing off the walls, but in a really good, positive way. Um, so we're gonna do that. They're giving away free samples after the race and it's gonna be perfect because the race is gonna be super exhausting and people are gonna be thirsty and hungry and this is where they're gonna use, this is the platform they're gonna to use to promote their product. Pretty smart idea if you ask me. Andrew, I do have to say, this is quite the colorful costume that you're wearing. You're making sponsorship look pretty darn good. It's the back, Ripsticks. If it's not obvious, folks, he is self-sponsored by Ripsticks. That's the company that you are working in right now, right? That's correct. And those are the products that you are selling? Yes. And this is the tent that we set up so that he could build a little bit more client base after this uh, little event that they're hosting. The bikes are ready. The tent is set up. Question is, are you guys ready? Yes, yep. sir. Let's get out of here. So I didn't bring a bike for the race today, but I'm thinking if they need like a backup rider, like I found this one. bike race begins.
Okay, you guys ready for the group photo? Are we gonna do anything silly or is it gonna be a serious one? All serious? Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Go. Yeah, you guys are there. They go. It's like 250 plus riders. Pier 17. This is the location of the first aid station. The first first aid station along the way. There's like three different races going on. It's not really like a super competitive race, but still it's a community bike race. There's like a 20k, a 60k, and an 110k. My friends, the Ripsticks team is doing the 110k and I'm trying to drive ahead to every first aid station to get a few shots of them. I stopped here, but I didn't have enough time ahead of them because it was like, just everyone's driving so slow along the highway. They're so afraid to pass these uh, bikers, justifiably so, but there's still opportunity to pass. They're just new drivers or island drivers, and they're not really in a rush to get anywhere, you know what I mean? But anyways, that was the very first first aid station. Now I'm headed over to the second. Maybe I'll just go to the very last one so I can at least guarantee getting a photo, you know what I mean? I think I finally caught up to Andrew. I think. High five! Woohoo! <laughs> there he goes! Alright, so in all things that I do, three key points that I use are one, don't kill anybody. Second, don't kill yourself. And third, try not to pose a danger or threat to anybody else around you. With those being said, photographing a bike race is extremely challenging. I have never photographed a bike race before in my life. I am in a town that I do not recognize any roads or trails or highways or nothing about. I'm following around like three or four guys who look like everybody else and I'm shooting with a really crappy 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 setup oh I think Andrew's coming up right now anyways let me see if this thing's actually gonna work you could probably hear the autofocus from the uh, from the phone here what I'm vlogging on there's Andrew right there three other riders two other riders cheese guys you've got classical music playing yeah <laughs> that's awesome that's Andrew. None of those images turned out and they were all blurry because the autofocus doesn't work. You guys need a pump? So obviously this is a huge misfortune, but I had a pump in the car and this guy had to change his tire. And he did it in like a matter of minutes. <laughs> No man, it's like a fruit drink that you mix with water. So I don't know if you guys want to put them in your pouch or if you can use them now. I've got water in the car, but this stuff is for during your workout. Here, you guys want to try wrist sticks too? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just coincidence. Take them. You mix them with water during your workout. Can you do it now? Yeah, you want water? I got some in the car if you want some. Well, all right. Welcome to Seashell, folks. How about we take a little bit of time to do some photography, shall we? This feels 
really wholesome and it feels really right. All right, guys, I think it's about time that I end this vlog. It was a beautiful day. It was an awesome experience coming out here to Gibson's. Like, I've never been out here before in my life. I discovered something so beautiful to show any friends that come and visit me. I'm headed back to Persephone Brewing. I'm almost out of card space and I'm also almost out of battery. And I still need to do my job as a photographer and take photos. I hope I could pull through. But I do make these videos for my friends and my family. I do them for you guys. That is obviously my priority. I miss you guys. I love you. I can't wait to see you. The sun just came out. I love you guys. Peace. So before I go away, I do want to mention one quick little thing. Andrew here sponsored me for this entire trip. He's with Ripsticks and he allowed me to come on to this kind of adventure for me. I've never been to Gibson's before. I've never seen a bike race before. Like he allowed this all to happen. All he wanted me to do was just let people know about the product that he's involved in. That being said, he even gave me like a two week supply and he's been giving it to me all weekend long. It's four o'clock now, when do we leave the house? Uh, we left at 8. We left at 8 a.m. I haven't eaten yet and you can tell by my energy levels on this vlog that I'm feeling like super amazing. So anything you want to say? Hi to your mom? Yeah, hi mom. Wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi Jane, of course. <laughs> Alright, Jane, he has a lot of good things to yeah. say actually. And this guy killed it today. He was in our team car. He helped people with flats. You probably can see it in the vlog. He helped people giving out product. Uh, the just, people that I helped on the road ended up coming to Andrew and asking about or telling them about their yeah. experience because I said, go see the rip, the, the ripsticks the guy. The photographer who's killing it out there. <laughs> so yeah, what an awesome day. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog now for sure. I know I already said goodbye, but uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves a little beer here at Persephone Brewing. All right, peace.